Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com. We're, uh, again, at uh, NAMM 2015, and uh, we're in uh, the company of greatness over here, folks. This is David Page from I'm Toto. Good. Hey, thank you very much, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, congratulations. You got a brand new record. It's Toto. Let me see if I got my numbers right. It's 14, correct? 14, just 14. like this hat right here. All right, so I can read my Roman numerals. Absolutely, man. And we're very excited about it. Uh, new Toto, new album, uh, new tour. We're going to be coming back to the States. We're going to be touring with Yes. Wow. Uh, August, our heroes. So uh, that's going to be fun. And uh, we're very excited about it. Very excited to be here at NAM and uh, with Alfred Music. They just did a songbook on Toto. And uh, with the Yamaha people, too. So uh, I'm playing with Nathan East tonight. And uh, we're going to be, you're going to, people are going to be seeing us touring this year. Can't wait, man. Can't, Can't wait, wait for everybody to hear our new album. Now, tell us about that. You know, it's the first one you've done in about 10 years or it so, is. right? It is. We found out it was kind of like this contractual thing where we were out playing, and all of a sudden we got a call from our record company that says, by the way, you guys owe us one more record. And we were like, well, we didn't see that. So we said, well, instead of whining, we said, hey, we're going to get paid to do another album. Let's just get in the studio and go do one. And uh, we got all the guys back together, and uh, Steve Bercaro, Steve Lukather, myself, Joseph Williams, David Hungate's back with us. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, cool. and uh, we went in there and uh, spent a year doing an album, and I'm very proud of it. It's much like the uh, first album, the Total 4 album, and the seventh one. So anybody who's a big Total fan out there will get a kick out of this album here. Well, hopefully it does as well as, as those records did, too, you know? Because yeah. obviously records are really hard to sell these they days. They really but... are. They really are. So that's why we're trying to push it out to our, our, our Facebook and to our, the social media and all the fan sites and stuff. Now, with that in mind, you know, now obviously the technology has changed so much. You know, recording processes. Yeah. Has it been cut in half or does it take longer now? Uh, a little bit of both here. Uh, it took, it was easier to cut the tracks back because we used to all be in the studio and I would just play the song and everybody would just learn it really quick. But now we kind of uh, get together and we're in a room. We got the computers, but we still find ourselves with vocal mics. I'm at a keyboard. I'm at my Hammond organ, and Steve Luger is on his guitar. It's just the uh, we're recording it into Pro Tools and Logic right now. So uh, I think there's a, a lot of similarities from the old days. We still enjoy playing, and uh, we're in the moment when we're doing that performance. Was there any room for for using old school tape on any of these recordings or anything like that? So, well, we did. We transferred. Uh, our mixes to half inch two track at the very end there and found that we liked our sound to be digital better than half inch this time but we're always trying to go retro and go old school on it you know what i mean i think all of our instruments that we use are so old school that they make all the digital stuff sound nice and warm and everything you know now we've got a review running on the actual record they get a pre-release on vintagerock.com so they've already put up a review you guys were great to us we really appreciate it so thank you very much. But the actual me. release date is going to be in March, correct? March, that's right. That's Getting a March. Gonna, we're going to try and have, uh, we're trying to work on a playback party, which we have one. You guys will be invited. To. Love but, to go. Uh, you know, we're very excited about this launch. And the tour starts when? Uh, it'll start probably uh, mid-May. We're going to be over in Glasgow, Scotland. We're going to Dublin and in London and in Paris and in all of Europe, Scandinavia. And we'll be back here uh, late July, early, I mean, in, all through August, uh, touring the States with Yes. Wow. Unbelievable, with Yes, that's gotta be a thrill. Have you guys ever toured with them before? We haven't, we've been such fans since we've been kids. It's gonna be like a pinch me moment. Yeah. I'm actually playing with these guys, you know? Here, but uh, we, we know some of the guys. John Anderson uh, sang on one of our records and uh, uh, I know Chris Squire a little bit on and off for a while, you know, so uh, they're great guys and we're very excited about it. It's gonna be quite the package tour going on. You know, everywhere you go. And I, yes, I said package, but, you know, it's Not all right. Package. Nonetheless. We know, we know what he meant. <laughs> David, congratulations on everything. You know, okay, I, you I really, so really looking forward to it. We really appreciate your support. And go out and buy Total 14 when it comes out in March. And uh, look for us in the States here. What are you looking forward to at NAM uh, 2015? At NAM? Um, just, uh, well, I came and saw this great piano anthology book that they're selling now. Just happens to have this name on it. Oh, look at that guy down there. Look at him. He looks the guy with the top hat. Yeah. No, Alfred Music, and uh, I'm always looking for some kind of new keyboard instrument, something new to poke around on. Just like uh, Herbie Hancock and Stevie Wonder say, it's a great uh, time to be a keyboard player. You have like a lot of big, biggest electronic train set. Uh, you can possibly have all kinds of neat toys, you know, so, uh, you know. Well, enjoy yourself at NAMM, man. I appreciate so you much, talking man. with us at VintageRock.com, dude. Fantastic. Much success. Again, Toto 14 coming out in March, the big tour with Yes and a whole lot more, and uh, hey, Buy the book too if you want to learn how to play Toto stuff. Thanks it's going to be great. Good for us and thank you fans out there. Vintagerock.com, Junkman here.